This is Mr. Caldwell from Glen Burnie High School, and this presentation is going to be on how to write an effective college essay. Uh, I know that a lot of students um, get very nervous when it comes to this aspect of the college admissions process, but I'm going to give you some helpful hints on how to tackle uh, this uh, challenge. So what we are going to discuss are the do's and the don'ts of writing an effective college essay. And then I'm gonna provide you with some helpful resources that through my research I found were really beneficial. Um, and I thought that students definitely can access this information and, and it can really help them uh, in addressing, uh, again, the challenges of writing an essay. What we wanna do first is actually hear from college admissions professionals to get some insight on the things that they like to see in a college essay. First and foremost, when looking at an essay, we're going to be looking at things like their ability to write well and their preparation for college. But we're also using that information to kind of see things like their resilience and um, their love of learning and their intellectual curiosity. I always tell a student, you know, if you had the chance to come meet with the admissions com committee and present yourself in person, would you want to do it? And without fail, students say, yeah, I'd love to have that opportunity. And when I ask why, they say because if they were able to get to know the admissions committee, the com admissions committee would want to admit them because they would know them and they would get to know what they're about and what makes them unique and special. The essay is really neat in that it's one of the only places in the application where they have complete control, where they can write about the things that they've been involved in, the things that they've done. One piece of advice I would give to every student is to ask someone who knows them a little bit um, to read their essay and to tell them what impressions they have of you after reading the essay. I think the essays that work best are actually quite simple. I think students get really caught up in thinking that this, this essay has to encompass your entire life and it has to be groundbreaking and you know publishable quality. Um, and that's a lot to ask of a high school student. So I always advise students to stick to the simple things that you know. Um, and the, the essays that stand out the most in my mind are about simple, simple things, very everyday uh, topics. I have seen some amazing essays about things like students walking their dog or, or even their bus ride to school. I think our hope is that if a student were to drop the essay on the floor of their high school and someone were to pick it up, it didn't have your name on it, that they'd say for sure, oh, I know that this is so-and-so's essay because it speaks so much about your voice and your experiences and your perspective. I think my favorite essay that I've ever read came from a student in the Midwest and he wrote about working at a fast food restaurant and he wrote about how people were treating him as they went through the drive through and how he was treating them back. He called himself an undercover anthropologist, which admittedly was a little nerdy in a brown sort of way, but I liked his essay because I was able to see what he was seeing and feel what he was feeling. So for the purposes of the application where we as admission officers are trying to get to know the applicant, that's a great essay. Now that you guys have had an opportunity to hear from the professionals, I wanted to talk to you uh, about a few uh, bullet points that through my research were very consistent um, with all of the professionals that know the most about this particular subject. One of the things that was discussed is starting the process early. Give yourself enough time to really put some energy into making a quality product. Your college essay says a lot about you and you wanna give yourself ample time to really process that information and put forth the best product that you possibly can that represents who you are. Keep everything relevant. You want to make sure that you don't get so caught up in telling a story about yourself that you forget who you're writing this essay for and what the purpose of the essay is for. Uh, for example, I've seen in a lot of cases when students talk about somebody that was uh, a significant figure in their, li in their life, they start to talk about this person and forget about why they're writing the essay because they get so caught up in the emotion of talking about that person, whether it be a grandparent or your parents or whoever. Make sure that you focus on why you're writing the essay and make sure that everything that you're saying is relevant to presenting yourself in the best light so that the college admissions reps know that you are a good fit for their school. Make your essay stand out. 
try to avoid generic topics or statements about yourself. Show your personality, show the colleges who you are. Again, in the video, they stated that if you had an opportunity to do an interview with a college representative, they would really get an opportunity to see who you are. In a lot of cases, you're not gonna have that opportunity. So they really need to know your personality through your college essay. Support your words. You want to make sure that if you are drawing attention to a very positive and strong quality about yourself, you want to elaborate on that quality. For example, if you say that you're a strong leader, then elaborate on your leadership. Talk about examples when you've shown leadership. Go into details about what you did in that process that would make others believe that you are a strong leader. Don't just leave it up to the person that's reading your essay to try to figure out why you believe or others believe that you're a leader. Make it very plain to them and give them as much detail as you can to highlight those qualities about yourself that are great and again, that make you a good fit for their college. The last bullet point that I wanted to talk about is proofreading your work. Make sure that you're reading over your college essay because the most important thing is that you are presenting yourself in the best light possible. And you don't want to have typos, grammatical errors, uh, sentence structured issues in your essay. College admissions reps really pay attention to this. So make sure that you're reading over your work and then get two or three other people to read over it as well, not just for structure, but also for content. And now let's hear from some of the admissions representatives about the mistakes that students commonly make. It is important to know what to do, but it is just as important to know some of the mistakes that can be made in advance. Hard to write that essay, it really is, because it's a, it's a page or a page and a half. And, you know, the three most common topics, or at least the three, er, the three um, topics that, that, that are really important to high school students or perhaps that have impacted their lives in the most profound way would be you know, death of a loved one or friend, um, uh, uh, moving, uh, or divorce. And those are pretty heavy duty topics. And there have been, have been outstanding uh, authors over the years who have tried to approach those topics and, and have had a difficult time in a, in a 500 page book. And now we're asking a 17 year old to reflect on that in 750 words or less. So it's a, it's a great challenge, so be careful. I think that if you don't feel that you can trust the admissions officer to safeguard your secrets or to see you in a vulnerable light, you're gonna miss an opportunity for the admissions officer to get to know you as well as, as he or she possibly could. One of the biggest mistakes that students make on their application essays is to sort of make an embellished resume. So we've already seen your resume, we've already seen you know, what you've done, what you're interested in. Um, don't use the very few words you have to tell us about yourself um, only to talk about what you do. Um, I think the essay is, is um, sometimes thought of as a way to show yourself off. Um, and in reality, what it is for us is a way to understand why you do the things you do, how those things impact you, um, how those experiences have shaped your worldview. One of my pet peeves when I read admissions essays is when students uh, describe an event without explaining the significance of it. And so if you tell me, for example, about a snowstorm, okay, sure, but um, you know, what does that tell me about you? Last year I read an essay about a student, uh, or that a student wrote about his grandfather, and it was very well written, uh, lots of uh, wonderful imagery and good punctuation and grammar, but by the end of the essay, I wanted to admit the student's grandfather uh, because it was all about him. And so I didn't learn anything about the student in that essay. And so in that case, although it was a great essay, it was not great for this purpose. Students who are creative will sometimes think that they should have a more visually appealing essay. And so they'll create their essay to be in the shape of something that represents who they are. You know, it can be hard to read an essay that's shaped like a chalice, let's say. <laughs> 
I've also seen students take the approach of a letter to a roommate or um, their presidential uh, acceptance speech that they're going to give um, down the road thanking Georgetown for the opportunity. And um, I think sometimes the ploy can take over the essay and you can't get past sort of the tool that they've used um, and you don't actually get to the student. So I think it's, it's better to write a simple, <laughs> heartfelt essay than to try to put too much time into crafting something that you think will stand out or catch our attention. I kind of understand where students are coming from when they say, oh, let me mention all of these different things, but I try to encourage students to sort of hone in, um, maybe on one experience, on one extracurricular, and use that as um, a lens through which we can get to see the way that you think, the way that your world operates, um, and also who you might be on our campus. Some of the don'ts, and again, in my research, I found that there were consistencies in terms of the information that was being presented. And one of the things that I saw in just about everybody's presentation was avoid being redundant. You do not want to repeat information that's already been given to the admissions reps through your resume and or your college application. You do not want to list your accomplishments, but rather focus on a specific accomplishment and elaborate on it. That is worth a lot more to them than listing everything that you've done or telling them what your GPA is or your SAT or anything of that nature. So rather than telling them your club affiliation, talk about your experience within the club and the things that really stood out about your experience and being a part of that club. This is more beneficial to them than actually talking to them about everything that you've been involved in. Do not plagiarize. I do recommend that you guys do research beyond this presentation. Go online and you will see a lot of information about writing college essays. And guess what? You'll also see some examples of some stellar college essays. I'll actually provide you with some within this presentation. But it is very important that you be honest and do not plagiarize. I know this process can be a bit tough and you may struggle a little bit to come up with content, but it is very, very important that your voice be your voice. Do not speak generally in an impersonal way. Be specific about yourself. You're allowed to brag in your college essay. Draw attention to those things that are going to endear you to the admissions representatives. Again, they want to hear about why you are a good fit for their college. And in order to do that, you have to give them some detail and you have to go into who you are as a person. Give them that narrative that really explains who you are and displays your personality. And the last bullet point, do not structure your college essay like a high school essay. This was something that was very consistent. Um, your essay should be a narrative. So avoid those that typical structure that you've been taught uh, in school. And you'll see in some of the examples that I give you um, in the link in the next slide of the type of narrative that they would like to see from you. They want to see that creativity. They want they, to see your personality and they don't want to see the structure that makes them believe that you're following a blueprint rather than just giving them information about yourself and being free to express yourself in a way that again, endears yourself to them. And lastly, uh, I'm the type of person that learns from examples. So I did provide for you uh, a link that has some great examples of what a good college essay looks like. And you see in the parentheses, I said, remember what I said about plagiarism? But I focused on this link because they use the prompts from Common App and they gave examples of students that really did a good job in their essay of addressing the prompts that you guys will see um, in Common App. So uh, you can click on the actual prompt and maybe it's even the prompt that you would select um, for your college essay and see how someone else responded to it um, just to get a general sense um, of a good way to really address that topic. That will conclude our presentation. 
Uh, I would like to say good luck to you guys. I know that this can be somewhat stressful, but going back to one of my original tips, give yourself time to process your thoughts and move forward effectively. Look at all of the resources that are available to you to assist you. And again, go beyond this presentation to research this yourself. You'll find a lot of information that will be helpful. Thank you for allowing me to present to you and good luck.